Some gamers here. We're live number 11. Number 11 is finally here. And what are we standing in? What happened to your feet? Do I have feet? Uh, no. That's right. It is finally snowed on our farm. It is winter time already. These days are flying by. And this map is set with all kinds of snow. Now, it is going to end up getting even snowier on this map. You can still see some of the grass and things like that. It looks kind of weird that we're out here in t-shirts. <laughs> but, I mean, if you can get beyond that, it is pretty cool what snow does on here, especially when it is snowing and you have a snowstorm. It sounds like a blizzard and it looks really cool. Uh, out here, the main roads on this map are already plowed. I guess the city or county would do these. But we have to take care of our own lots, and that is where the fun starts. So we're probably going to have to figure out how we're going to plow out our driveway. And I guess I'll jump into the truck. Hopefully we're not stuck here. I don't think we are. It doesn't get slippery until mid-winter, and then this stuff starts to get pretty slick. Actually, right there I'm already not turning too well. Oh, it's already slippery. All right. I think, you know, we just end up getting more and more snow and it ends up just getting to a point where, uh, you know, you pretty much have to clean it up. Yeah, look at that. We're slipping. We're fishtailing a little bit. This is kind of fun. We're just going to park our truck. I don't know who does this, but we're going to park our truck on the side of the road. I'm going to cheat a little bit and uh, we'll just leave it out there. Hopefully it doesn't get towed. So we've got to get some equipment. Actually, you know what? I think... I think one of the pieces of equipment are over there, and the other piece is over here. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and drive down to the other lot, and I'm going to grab the tractor, the Fent. I guess I just left him behind. Oh, boy, let's see if we can drive in here. Oh, we slid. Let's try this again. Go full speed. Oh, man, it is so slippery already. And it is, yeah, it's still early winter. Uh, somebody was in here on our server, one of our subs, and they started doing a little bit of plowing. So this lot is partially done. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and park that right there. Got to remember to shut that off. And by the way, this chore log, I think, will be the first one that I'm actually doing without a steering wheel. Last, last one I had it plugged in and uh, did not use it because it's all messed up. The sensor is out in it. So I'm working on hopefully getting either a new sensor or a new wheel. So I'm actually keyboard and mouse farming here. Which is quite weird, but this is what, like one of the jobs that, you know, is, is okay. Pretty much just going forward, backward kind of a thing. So why don't we get you in the front loader and, you know, I'm going to follow me. This is going to be great. So yeah, if you come over here, oh my god, I gotta remember to slow down. I'm sliding. I got this tractor, the Fen, all dressed up. I put the skinnier tires on it with the wheel weights. We had the wide tires. Uh, put the weight in the back and, you know, pretty much did what you would do with it for snow removal. Something I do know about. I did it for many years and uh, it is fun. It is fun. But uh, there are a lot of mods out there that will allow you to push and, and blow the snow but honestly we're trying to keep our mod pack really light and I've tested so many mods that were really really bad I know there's a few good ones out there but like I said we're trying to keep our mod pack light because we're having to make changes so much and download and we're just really not going to be doing a lot with the snow so I just like using the level blade and honestly out of all these mods I tested trucks and blowers and everything this thing works pretty dang good it really does. If you know what you, you're doing, it works really good. Grab the front end loader. Is that just uh... Yeah, I'm going to push this this way. And uh, I'll show you where it is. Oh, I don't want to shove that in the shed. It's right here next to me. Come on. Well. Okay. Yep. So what you're going to do is just kind of help me here. Um, get that thing started up. Get your lights on. And I'm going to end up getting these big snow piles. And you're going to want to kind of help me scoop this stuff over. So in a minute here, there'll be a lot more work for you to do. Just let me start pushing this. I'll push this down here. 
I'm just gonna kind of push it so it's out of our way for right now. This is something I've always wanted to do in farming sims, so it's really gonna be a lot of fun. There we go. See what I mean? This vanilla piece of equipment here does just fine. So over here, and you can scoop these piles up and just kind of, you know, dump them over into the field. This is how we're going to work this. There we go. Go ahead and you can start any time, you know. You want to stay out of my way, though, for sure, because that's going to really slow us down. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that little bit I can't get. I mean, I don't think it's kind of like real life. I mean, do you really have to get every little spot? You could probably end up getting that little spot that I miss. All right, let's catch this little bit here. Oh, you definitely want to stay out of my way, yeah. There you go. Just, you know, take scoops and uh, try to stay off of the actual snow because that's where I'm going to be coming. If you want to scoop that little bit out of the shed there, kind of move it, you can. Fun. Yeah, there's going to be a... I'm going to come right through here. Just stay there. Whoa, oh, man. Damage on the windshield. Um, in a minute here, there'll be a lot more for you to do, that's for sure. Just going to kind of push it. So anything that I leave, you can go back and kind of scoop up. Oh, well, hello there. Try this again. Yeah, now we're pushing. Yeah, and it's like I said, it's still early winter. We've only had one day with some snow, so we're definitely going to be getting a lot more. And if you look at the weather here, uh, it looks like, yeah, towards the end of winter, we're going to get a bunch. And then there's no telling, you know, how long it'll take for it to melt. If you get a really snowy winter, it could be a while. That's the reason why I'm kind of having him pick it up. So yeah, you're just scooping it, dumping it right over the hedgerow into the field. That way, when we get more snow later on, it doesn't accumulate too much. Oh, man. It's just the ground is so uneven here that it's kind of just hopping and skipping, but kind of bumping and grinding here. Here we go. This tractor really does good because, I mean, it goes pretty fast. Forward, reverse. And there's a lot of tractors you could use. Yeah, there's like a little bump right there. I guess if you slow down just a little bit, should be good to go. When I was a kid growing up, Grandpa had a snow plowing business. We spent many hours on an open cab tractor in the middle of very, very cold Wisconsin winters at night out plowing people's driveways and doing all kinds of stuff. When I got in high school, I was the groundskeeper for our local school district and I had to get up in the morning and head into school hours before it started so we could get all the sidewalks cleared and things like that. I really enjoyed it though. Had a bunch of nice John Deere equipment. Little spots right here. We're going to get those. So yeah, you can see it works pretty good. We're just pushing this snow out of the way where we're not even going to, you know, basically come spring, these piles are the last thing to melt, just like real life, and we're not even going to have an issue with that because in the brush there. So what we're going to want to do with this one is kind of thinking about it from a real life aspect. I think I'm going to probably push everything right there and then we're going to shove it through that gate out into the field. That's how we would have done it in real life. Take a little bit more here. There we go. Keep missing right there. Might end up getting another level blade or something. Actually, we do have a level blade for that piece of equipment there we could put on. All right, we're getting a pretty good pile there. I think what I'm gonna do now, 
then we'll back up towards the road and the same thing. I might have to have you do the driveway here, Aiden. I'm not sure. That's fine. No, we're gonna go ahead and just give it here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Try it again. I got hung up on the fence, I think. Oh man. Shove this snow out into the field. Got little pricklies are showing there. Once we get through winter a little bit, we won't be able to see that anymore. Got my front end kind of light there. It's all right. We just keep on hammering it here. There we go. It doesn't look too perfect right now, but some of the snow out of here. I'm gonna shove this out past that little driveway right to our right. That way in the springtime we can drive through and not be blocked. Take one more here. Kinda get this out in here. Just like that. I think what I'm gonna do... Whoa! I did not even mean to do that. My front end just slid right around here. Well... I guess if that's the way it's gonna be... I wonder if I can... kind of maneuver this. I'll have to have him come over here and probably uh, do this part. Tell me when you're done. See if we can turn. It kind of falls out. Some of it stayed in. Might as well just keep her going. Push that right down to there. That way he can come over here and kind of keep cleaning that up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go right out. Oh my goodness. It is really slippery. And we don't have the tire tracks in the snow on yet. Because it's not deep enough. I think is the reason. I mean, they are turned on. We're just not seeing them. I'm just going to drive a little bit slower here. It seems not to skip quite as much. Oh, now it's really starting. Right through there. That was a nice clean little sweep there. Push that out there. Alright, driveway is looking pretty good here. We're just going to do one more on the right hand side. Hopefully we don't hit the gate. Uh, we've got this little bit here too. We should catch that. We'll do one more on each side. Just kind of clean this up. Get the snow away from our gates, whoops. Okay. I will clean this all up. Boy, as soon as you hit the gas, it just poops right out. Right out the bottom. Nice little pile going there, though. Yeah, you might want to work on the driveway, like where the truck was parked by the house. Mm -hmm. I'm going to push this little bit here. I'll probably make two swipes because I know what it's going to probably want to try to do here.
That was a nice one. <laughs> that moved a lot. That got a lot of it moved. Drive right over our pile. Look at that. Let's see if we can push it. Oh, we're getting it all too. We're doing a wheelie, but we're getting there. Right out into the field. <laughs> There we go. And yeah, if you want to scoop it and uh, just d dump it over the... Yeah, just like you're doing. Doing a really good job. Boy, that driver looks nice. Looks like you only got about one more. One more scoop on the right side and you're good. I'm just going to push this back. Sweet. Looks like he's got that all under control. Kind of cleaning that up a little bit. We got one little chunk right here. Maybe we'll shove this out into the highway. We'll have to deal with this over here yet too. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. We can drive around and get where we need to go. Little piece of snow right there. And the good thing is, like real life, this always melts, so, you know, you never have to worry if you have every little piece. I got some, like, right in there. Yeah, let's see if I can keep pushing that. Why don't you uh, watch out? Let me come through. Let me go right through, because I'm going to push. Yeah, keep moving. Keep moving. Keep going. There you go. Ah, getting stuck on everything. Uneven ground, I suppose. Pretty much same thing here. Hopefully I fit through this gate. Oh, it's going to be close. Alright, we'll push this out here like this. This is going to be a little bit more difficult because of this gate. There we go. That was a nice little scoop. Okay, we're gonna let him move that truck. Hold on one second here. Look at that snow how it's around the tires. It looks so realistic. Okay, I'm gonna back up into the pit. Go ahead. Very nice. There we go. Open that gate. That one. Where the cows are right where I am. I think I'm gonna push the snow right through. But could the cows escape in there or something? No, if they do, you're gonna have to chase after them. Wait, they could or they cannot? You better have your rope ready to go. Okay. Get your rope out. Yep. Or we could just get your shotgun. Or even better yet, a steak knife and a dinner fork. Alright. Kill the cows? No. Okay. We'll eat some steak. Oh, no, Here you go, cow. <laughs> I, just, I just plowed the cow in. Oh, Jesus, no! What happened to Bessie? Oh my goodness. I just tipped Bessie over. Oh, look at them climbing over that. They're playing King of the Hill. It gives the cows something to do in the winter. It's all about the cows. Definitely is. We could just fit through there. Here you go, cows. Now you can play King of the Hill. Here we go. Oh, right over. <laughs> we'll just kind of do that. It looks good to me. Yeah, go ahead and back that truck in there. Now that we're done cleaning that up. That was always my job, cleaning out our impound lot and stuff as a kid, was to move all the vehicles. And, you know, before your driving age, it's always fun. Especially when you're driving them through an unclean lot and you're spinning the tires and getting them stuck. And always a lot of fun. 
My dad used to have me do that while he was on the tractor pushing snow. Where else do we need to plow? Um, we gotta get both of our lots across the highway. Did you shut the cow gate? No. Yeah, go ahead and shut the cow gate. Don't let escape. Yep. Don't let them escape. Alright, we got this lot all cleaned up. It's nice to drive through. We're gonna go over and get the other one up. And you did a nice job on our driveway. So we pick up and go back. Whoops. Alright, this one's gonna be a little bit more tricky. Now when I did the re-edit on this map, one of the things I wanted to do was put a gate at the other end out ahead of us there so that I could just shove the snow straight out of it, straight out of this lot. But chat said don't do that. They didn't want that. So we let the Twitch chat decide. But I thought it would have been pretty neat to be able to push the snow out there. And you still kind of can, as you see right there, it kind of goes through anyway. Okay, I'm coming across the road. Yep. <laughs> that would not be good in real life, but it's all right. We're going to try to get back here. Stuff is really slick to drive on. Start pushing out this way. Ah, it's starting to leave it. I was scared of that. Watch out behind you. Coming through. There we go. Push this back in here. Kind of bury this old combine here. We don't need that anyway. It's all broken up. There we go. Okay, what I'm going to do is have you scoop all this up and dump it over the fence. Okay. Okay, there's a nice pile for you right there. Oh, it's really tough for me to do much with that. I'm going to go one more swipe back here. Try to go a little bit slower so we don't miss any. Ah, it's still skipping. Oh, there's some more you can scoop up and throw that over. We'll have to try to get a video done when it's actually snowing in here and when it's coming down because that's a lot of fun. And here's a little bit more. See if you can do something with that. And then why don't you let me slide by you? Dump that. Yeah, there you go. Whoop. Tip your bucket back. You, you did good. You just need to tip your bucket back first. Go down and then tip your bucket back and then lift it right up and over and dump it. This one I'm going to get a whole bunch. This one will work. There you go. Now tip the bucket back before you lift. Tip it back. There you go. Right up and at it. See, that thing can fit a ton. I just need you to get out of the way so I can get by you and I'm going to push the rest of this. So back up into the weeds. All right. Uh, you just want to get that bucket tipped back or tilted back before you lift the arm up because then the snow will stay in the bucket rather than just dumping right back out. A little bit of an uneven surface here, so it's kind of hard. That's where that bucket works so much better. There's some more for you. You're probably going to have to scoop this here too because the blade just doesn't doesn't get down there. All right, I'm going to leave you with that. So clean those spots up on the on the road. And I'm going to head down to the very next lot right here. And we're going to clean that out real quick. All right, let's fold that blade back out. I'm 
We'll have him come over and work some magic with his bucket when he gets done over there. Whoa, that front end will swing right around on you. Shove that right back. Whoop, oh my goodness. That guy should have watched out for me there. Had my lights on. Well, these cars are so impressed with my skills, they're taking pictures. Okay. Oh, oh, look out, look out. Oh my god. Driving so fast, people. It's winter time, you gotta slow down. How you doing over there? Good. What do you think of snow plowing? It's it's fun. Yep, and you don't have to really worry about being too perfect at it because it's all gonna melt. That's kind of the attitude I have in real life. I do a pretty good job cleaning our driveway and stuff, but especially towards the end of the season, uh, as soon as we get like a dusting or anything, some of the neighbors are out there just going to town and I'm like, that's gonna be melted in a few days. Why even bother? <laughs> and it does, it melts and it's not like your grass or something. If you don't cut your grass, you can really screw up your lawn. And with snow, it just melts. It's no biggie. Now this is a real mess here. This was done by somebody else and they just kind of stopped. I'm not sure what they were intending to do with the snow, but we're gonna have to get him over here with a bucket to kind of clean that all up. We'll just leave that little bit there. We'll have to get this here because we are going to be selling some crops. So we want to have this nice and cleaned up. I'm just going to go a little bit slower. Now you can see it really pushing it good there. Right where I am is a pile. We need you to clean that all up and then just dump it right over the the edge oh into that field. No problem. No problem, he says. We're going to have to uh, probably do some work over here with picking some of this snow up and dumping it over the fence. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, we can see the tire tracks where he drove, so they get more defined, I think, the deeper the snow is. I'm going to push this back the most that we can. This is why we want to have all of our equipment picked up and not sitting out in the winter so that you can kind of push your snow around, not have to worry, and you don't hit it like I just did. Now, in real life, you would not want to do what I'm doing here because... Pushing all that snow up against your fence is obviously going to bust your fence. We used to have some fences like this around our place and uh, many times in the spring we were out there doing a little bit of repair on the broken boards from getting a little too crazy in snow plow season. Especially when the snow would get real deep and part of the fence would be buried and you'd be pushing it and the weight of the snow would just snap those boards. Well, fortunately, we don't have to worry about that in here. We buried the fence right there. I'll pick it up. Yeah. Yeah, you can pick it up and just kind of dump it over. I'm going to clean all this up here. And this snow is just one of the many reasons why I recommend Seasons Mod. If you've done regular farming, and I've said this before, if you feel like maybe you've gotten a little tired of the vanilla style, You've got to get in the Seasons mod. It makes the game ten times better. It makes it a lot more realistic. Gives you all the challenges that you normally would. And it's just a lot of fun. And one more thing that you missed, Ted. 
What's that? I never get bored. Yeah, you don't... You don't ever get too bored with this, do you? Yeah. There's such a variety of things, and it's not a rinse and repeat like every other day, like vanilla farming. This will go on for, you know, weeks. With the nine-day seasons, it's like 36 days or something, I figured one time, for it to go full cycle. So, I mean, you know, it takes five weeks to get all the way through, five to six weeks, and it really keeps things interesting. Actually, it's longer than that. But anyway, I don't want to math today. Hopefully this will stay in here. I drive slow enough. Most of it did. I gotta get this one little piece right here. We'll have to get that flatbed picked up. Especially with more snow on the way. It looks like it's gonna be a kind of a dry winter though. And we won't have to worry about too much of this, but there will be more coming. And I'll have to have you probably come back down here and do a little bit more. I'm going to make another pile. Actually, we could push this over here. Well, that's perfect. That is perfect. That worked out real nice. Shove that over there. Whoa! Boy, the damage I would have done today. All right, well, if you finished over there, then maybe you could come over here. You just spot me here. I don't know if I'll be able to get all of this. Looks like we did so far. All right, we should be good. That took us about an hour to get our lot all cleaned up. Just a few minutes shy of that, but uh, somebody had already done part of this lot, so it made that a little bit quicker. Since we don't have any other silos right now, I'm just going to shove this back into there. We'll take one more swipe here. Why not? Like I said, it's kind of nice because this will all melt once the weather warms up in the spring. Yeah, about an hour to do those three lots. We'll still have to come back and do some more when it comes to like the pigs, the sheep, and we may have to do some more down by the seed place. I'm not sure, but I want to leave something for our subscribers to do that come onto the server and help us out every week. All throughout the week, not to mention. Yeah, looks like you got that pretty good. We'll have to get the truck and eventually move that. All right, well, that was a job well done, and we're going to be done for the day. I want to remind you to join us over on our Discord channel where you can come and chat with us all week long. Also, our team speak if you care to come over there and have a chat with us. We're doing lots of live streaming all throughout the week over at twitch.tv slash gamers, and we've got also our Twitter that you can follow us on so that you know exactly when we go live on Twitch. All the links are down below. Aiden, do you have any final thoughts for the day? Yeah, I think winter is probably my favorite season of seasons, Mom. If you like uh, fall and all the other seasons, I would prefer seasons mod, but my favorite season is probably winter. What's yours? I really like the fall because of how beautiful it was in here and how it actually looked like fall. And that to me made the world of difference. But the winter is something pretty cool because there's really not as much to do on the farm and you don't have to be here all the time doing field work and things like that. That's when a lot of farmers will go on vacation. With that being said, don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section down below. Hit that thumbs up button on your way out and until next time, take, take care. care.